Hello, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. We have had a game update. Uh, it is... They re they've just released a new uh, I Will Back Up My Save uh, version, which, of course, is what I'm on due to some issues I was having a while back that they ultimately fixed, but uh, for a while I was having to play this, so I just sort of left it on. Um, so we're going to see some differences. Uh, I was reading through the, the patch notes a bit. Apparently a lot of it has to do with... Uh, Clothing, it now has durability and can become dirty, and if you're wearing dirty clothes over an open wound, it increases your risk of infection. Uh, and the actual zombie corpses, which can now be buried in a grave, although apparently uh, you can only put one in a grave at the moment because there was a specific note about uh, adding you know, multiple corpses to a grave uh, coming in the future. Uh, and apparently if you leave corpses out for a while, they are going to attract flies. Now, there was no mention about what happens with flies, so we'll see if there's anything to that. But let's just uh, pop back into things and uh, see uh, what we can see. Alright, so it is 8.20 p.m. apparently. We are a bit warm. How is our clothing? All right, well, we don't see any durability on this, so I'm guessing that means that it uh, just isn't damaged. Um, apparently durability can go down from combat with different uh, forms of uh, clothing having different uh, resistances to that. Just kind of do a quick circle around here just to kind of load things in. We're doing our standard little stutter uh, while we do that. Oh, we've got the wrong thing equipped. Let's uh, equip that back. We don't want that hammer. Not at the moment. Alright, so I figure that we are going to need... There we go. Right, let's just get a little bit of load in there. Um, I figure we are going to need to start spiffing up our base a bit. Um, yeah, we're going to need to do that. So, we're going to start building some, some stuff. Which will probably have me switch back to the hammer again. But... For the moment, let's see, I've got a bag of plaster powder. That's nice. I must have wasted a bunch of inventory space picking that up. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, one of the other things that was in the patch notes was uh, they have increased the hit points of player-built structures. It didn't say by how much or anything like that, but it's good to know. All right, it started raining, so we're going to want to go back inside again. Um, let's see, we're going to want to start collecting some uh, clothing. I wonder if shoes are going to have durability. Do I really want green pants? Hmm. Well, there's nothing on that corpse. Oh, that's the one I just looted, that's why. Brown pants. Oops, not that. I uh, say we're not wet yet, so I guess we'll go ahead and keep collecting some stuff. Now, I'll wind up uh, sorting this stuff out a bit later. But, let's grab that. Let's go ahead and grab a sweater. This, I'm just grabbing to store in case we actually do wind up running into that problem of whoa, clothing going right There's still a, a dog? I don't think I've ever heard a dog bark before. I mean, obviously, it's one of those random noises that's going to get me in trouble with, uh, <laughs> with, uh, zombies, but let's grab some pants. Alright, we're starting to get a little wet here. Alright, we'll just grab this pant and vests, and maybe these guys' shoes as well. Alright, let's go inside before we get too much wetter. It's starting to rain, like, heavily. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and... That is not the right thing I clicked. Alright, let's fill our water bottle. Now, since there's a way for clothing to get dirty, I wonder if they bothered putting in a way for you to clean clothes. It wasn't in the patch notes, but they might have. I don't know. So we're also going to want to do something about all those bodies before they start attracting flies, because I don't particularly want to find out what that means. Um, let's see. 
Maybe we'll be able to also use a needle and thread to repair clothing. Who knows? It'll definitely be a, a bit more of a use than, you know, stitching ourselves up, since most injuries wind up being fatal. At least any injury that would require a needle and thread at this point. Alright, so what do we got? We got some space here. Stuff some pants in, the shoes in, the sweater in, and the vests in. We'll just kind of do all that. Oh wow, it's taking him individually. Apparently you have to be all nice about this. I would just, you know, grab the wad of clothing out of the bag and toss it in the, you know, <laughs> wardrobe here. Alright, so this is going to take a little bit longer than expected. Do, 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 do. Oh, looks like I ran out of space. Not really any space there. Not enough space there. I guess I'm putting some additional vests in here. Which is going to suck, because, you know, part of the character creation thing here is picking out your clothing. Alright. Now, let's see. It is nighttime, but we are not yet tired. We could go do something to make ourselves tired, or we could take advantage of the time and uh, read. So let's see, what do we need? Uh, we're not up on electrical or metal work yet. Nothing on fishing. So what do we got? Electricity for beginners? Alright, let's, uh, let's do electricity for beginners. So, the electricity winds the uh, stuff in general, uh, winds up being for, like, hooking up generators and the like, which is going to be important once the utilities go out. So, we got that. Let's speed things up here while we read. Which, as you recall, uh, this character is a slow reader, so it just takes extra time. It is apparently really warm, but I suppose, let's see, it's the middle of July? No, August. Middle of August. Yeah, 7.17. So that would be middle of, so middle of August. So yeah, it's going to be warm out, even at night. There should be air conditioning units in some of these things. That'd be awesome. <clears throat> Not only could you, you have it work, you could also like salvage out of them, maybe. Alright, it is a little past midnight. We're getting hungry. Do we have any food ready? No, we do not, of course. Right, I was running around trying to find food as well. Okay, I think that's going to do for now. Let's uh, see if we can't get some sleep, even though we're not terribly tired. Sleep, please? Yes, I want to sleep. Okay, now, because we don't have a door on our little courtyard yet, technically zombies can still spawn there. 6 a.m., that is a good time to wake up for me. All right. Let's put this book back, because we aren't going to carry it around. Got a little bit of stuff there. Okay. Let's just take a quick peek around here, make sure. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Get a little congested in the mornings, and that's when I need to do my recording most of the time. Um, alright. So, oh, there's some zombies over there that I don't necessarily want to futz with. Well, let's see how many there are, because I would like to bury some bodies over there, I think. I mean, I could either... Yeah, you know what? Let's just funeral pyre them. Let's see if I can get that to work. So, I believe... I need... How do I do this? I'm trying to remember. Ah, yes. Alright, let's see. Um, Cooking? No. I have to do it with survivalist, I think. Make campfire kit. 
Rip sheets, twigs. Okay. We can do this. Oh, alright. Let's do, 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 do. Alright, so we need three planks and some torn sheets. Rip one. Alright, we got that. Let's grab. One, two, three of you. Alright, and that should allow us to craft a campfire kit. You're not doing it. Why not? And let's pop back in here so that we at least are a little bit more defensible. Or did you make it already? Oh, you made it. Campfire materials. Excellent. Alright. So, let's... Let's see here. I think... Yeah, let's take a little bit of time and get this going. We don't have a strong need for any of the, uh... Stuff that I did not already pull off these corpses. So let's go ahead and uh, do, 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 do. how do I do this? Build a fire. I think I'm gonna hang on to that for a moment. All right, let's pile up some bodies. Do I have to... Yeah, I have to drop this way, don't I? There we go. Taking a little bit to remember how to do this. Grab a corpse. Drop a corpse. Alright, so... I'm going to go over a little bit of what I'm doing here. So, at least previously, I'm not sure if there's been a change since uh, the last time I you know, played this game seriously. Um, but previously, you were able to uh, burn corpses in order to get rid of them. Uh, basically done by just kind of have piling them on a campfire. Or any other like source of fire as well. Um, the problem being is that sometimes fire can get out of control, especially if you are specifically burning things like a corpse. It can do things like set grass and stuff on fire. Now, one of the ways to help avoid this is it won't burn like this sand or concrete. So I'm piling all the stuff on the sand here, leaving some space around it, so hopefully it will keep the fire under control won't let it spread too far. That's the plan, at least. And we're just kind of building up our little uh, pile of bodies. Now, last I checked, this did not do anything to uh, attract new uh, more zombies. But, you never know, they may have also changed that. Because last I knew, sound and sight were about the only things that would, you know, uh, attract zombies, not smell. But they may have changed that. As far as I know, there's actually no smell mechanic in the game at all. But I would imagine that a pile of burning corpses would smell something fierce. Maybe good, maybe bad. I mean, can't be sure. I mean, one would generally assume bad, but then again, people are made of meat. And, uh, you know, cannibalism is taboo for... is, is a taboo. And I figure that taboos exist for a reason. Like, you know, generally speaking, everything else that is, ta you know, taboo in society one way or another is something that would be you know, generally pleasurable in some way if people were just allowed to do it willy-nilly. 
Well, about the only pleasure one would get from eating something... Come on, get this corpse. Uh, from eating something would be the flavor. So I gotta figure that people must taste good. I mean, I'm unlikely to ever have the opportunity to try one. But that's what I gotta figure. Alright, so we have our pile of... Oh wait, we got one more over here. And I could, I suppose, grab a couple from outside. What Do you have anything? No, nothing of worth. Um, do, 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 grab corpse. Could we find the floor, please? Floor. Drop. Let's see if we got this one, like, right outside the door here. We'll go ahead and grab you as well. The further ones can stay, but this will hopefully get rid of this big ol' mess. Alright, drop. Alright. Now, now let's see if we can build a fire here. Alright, it's not going to let us do it right there. All right, let's have the rip sheets as fuel. Let's go grab a board. I'm trying to remember how to do all this. Not often you have to light fires until after the utilities go out, so. We will add a plank as fuel. All right, let's see about lighting it. Uh, I might have to pull stuff out of my bag. I could have swore I had a lighter. Hmm, did I? You know what? I might have taken that out in an attempt to organize things. Um, lighter, lighter, lighter. I need to see the various planks. Lighter? Lighter? Lighter! There we go. Now let's watch this go horribly bad. Light fire. Sure, let's light it with a skirt. Alright, that's going. Now let's see if we can't... Grab corpse. Can I drop... I can drop it directly on... There we go. Oh, okay, so I no longer have to build this, like, out-of-control funeral pyre? I can just put the corpses directly in the fire. Alright. That's a change. Oh, but I can only do one at a time, it looks like. Alright. Well, let's set it to the ground. And we're just gonna let that burn. Maybe we'll keep a little bit of an eye on it, just to make sure. You always gotta be careful with the you know, the fires here. Alright, let's throw that back in there. Throw that back in. Let's go ahead and throw another plank on. They may have simply wound up making the fires not as uh, untamable. I think I do remember seeing that at some point. Alright, let's throw another plank on the fire. All right. Now, let's see about do something about food. I really should monitor the fire closer, but I've put it in the sand there, so hopefully it won't spread. Um, let's see. What do we got? Not much. I mean, there's some meat patties and stuff. What do we got here? Let's see if we can... 
You know what? Let's just eat a bag of chips. Normally that's travel food, but I'm just trying to get rid of the hunger at the moment. All right. So let's see if this is actually consuming the corpse or not. No way to really tell at the moment. Let's see if I can't manage to try and get this fire just a little bit more. No, you're on the side there. Let's see if I can't. You used to be able to get them right on top of the fire. You have to be really... Yeah, that's probably about as close as I'm going to get it. Because I don't want to step in the fire itself, because it will hurt me. Fire is one of those things. Alright, so let's go ahead and re-equip our baseball bat again. Put these sheets away. Uh, that'll... that'll do. Alright. Alright, so, um, we need to work on some stuff around the base. That's the first thing I think we're going to work on, is we're going to build a water collector. Uh, we still have our water on at the moment, but that's that'll only last so long. So we're going to need some nails. I know I have nails. Here's the nails. I don't necessarily need that many nails. That'll do fine. Um, we're going to need four garbage bags. Right, I'm only going to take four because I want to save four for when my uh, uh, my carpentry skill is better. Because there are two different versions of the water collectors. Right, and we are going to need some planks. I'm trying to remember how many. Let's just check our fire real quick. There is still a corpse in the fire. Darn. We'll just come back and check on that periodically, I guess. All right. So I need... Nope. I need... Why are you not letting me do carpentry here? All right. What's, what's up here? Oh, you know what? It's probably because I don't have my hammer out. All right. Hammer out. There we go. Yep, it's because I didn't have the hammer out. Alright, so we need... Let's see. Where are you? Miscellaneous. No? Oh, Cairn. That's neat. I wonder if that's a thing I'll be able to put corpses in. I might do that in a bit, just to see. Um, Because I think I have a bunch of those stones. Because those, those stones are not terribly useful if you have real hammers. And you can find them really fast. Um, fence, furniture, do, 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 do. There's my ring collector barrel. All right, I need four planks. So, let's see, we got two planks here. And it seems to be, once again, uh, detecting things in the bag. So I'm guessing that was something that was fixed in the update. So that's good. <clears throat> Alright. Now we need to figure out where we want to place our brain collector. So it has to be someplace without a roof, otherwise it won't work. So I think what I'm going to do is put it up against this fence here. Because we're going to ultimately be planting our crops over in this area. So we don't want it to be too terribly far. Because one of the things that we're going to be using our rainwater for a lot is the crops. Now, rainwater is considered infected, but you can boil it to, you know, basically purify it. So that's not a big deal. Why am I looking at that crafting menu? I want the carpentry menu. Um, rain collector barrel. All right, so this is the boxy looking one. This is the one that we don't have enough carpentry for yet. They're, they have the exact same ingredients. I wonder if it'll let me upgrade them later. Alright, so it's starting to rain, so we're going to get used out of this right away. Bam, there we go. Rain collector barrel. Remaining 0%. It hasn't collected any yet. 
All right, so that's going to start collecting water now that it's raining. Let us swap back to our baseball bat. And let's check on our fire, since now it's also having to fight off the rain. We still have a corpse. I might not be able to burn corpses anymore. Let's let it burn. I'm not that concerned, because I'm pretty much just using the planks as fuel, and... That's fine. It's now raining, so even if the fire starts, it shouldn't... Sp you know, if the fire starts to spread, it shouldn't spread far. Yeah, that's... that's annoying me. I might be able to... You know what? I think I know what... I, I might have done things in the wrong order for this. Let's actually put the fire out and try this again. Let's see. Let's put out fire. <clears throat> Alright. Let's pick up this corpse. Let's stand directly on the fire and drop the corpse. Alright, now... Let's light the fire. Alright. Now there is a corpse directly on top of the fire. If it doesn't... Okay. That burned to ash. It does not seem to have spread, however. Is that... Okay. Hmm. Alright, so it seems like it is still possible to burn the corpses, but it's going to be a lot harder. Let's go ahead and put the fire out. And we will, uh... We will deal with that at a slightly later time. Actually, no, you know what? It's 9.30 a.m. It's maybe raining out, but we're not having a big issue of it yet. Let us stand directly on the fire. Oh. Do, 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 do. So what we're going to do here is hopefully be able... Yeah, this seems to be working alright. Let's just hope I don't completely obscure the fire so I'm able to still light it. Actually, I might be able to select it in the window here and do that. I haven't tried that. It is starting to rain harder, which is never good. I hear zombies. See if we can't get this. All right, let's get this equipped. Looks like it's oh two. All right. Come on, there we go. Come on, die already. There we go. Oh, see, these are bloody. Dirty and bloody. All right. All right, let's see if we can, uh... Holy crap, even find our fire. Is there a way to scroll? Hey, we can scroll. All right. Darn, there does not appear to be a way to light the fire from here. We can light the fire here, though. All right, let's just back off, allow those to burn, and there are zombies inside our compound again. All 
I mean, I want to go inside and dry off, but uh, we got to take care of this. Okay. Yep, we're going to leave those there for the moment. Let's go inside. Let's see if we can dry off. Uh, did I have... To I know I brought towels back. I'm trying to remember where I put them. Not there, apparently. Uh, towels, towels, dish towel. Dry self. Alright, and we're drying ourselves off. Do, 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 do. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this towel, wet, wet dish towel in here. It'll dry off eventually. We are now only wet rather than absolutely soaked. Okay, so we're all right there. Um, we should... Oh, man. See, I need to go put out that fire. And I'm gonna get soaked again. Put out fire. There we go. Alright, so we managed to burn a large number of our corpses. We're gonna have to deal with these uh, new ones here. You know, it, probably in the next episode we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so, and then we'll continue exploring the rest of this update. We've already seen a little bit of, uh, what it's, what's going on there with the, uh, stuff on the corpses being all bloody and dirty. That tells me that there's got to be a way to at least wash clothing. How is ours? Our clothing is fine. Uh, I suppose there is every chance in the world that because this is a save from before this, that the stuff that I'm wearing, basically the stuff I started with, is going to be immune to that effect because it didn't have it initially, at least until they get around to fixing that. I'm guessing that's probably what's happening here. Um, but yeah, that's that's going to do. Let's pause up. We're getting hungry again. We're still a little damp. Uh, it is now, you know, like about 10.30 in the morning. We will uh, pick up their next episode, though. So, until next time, have a good one. <laughs>